Today I'm here to read selected words of poet Alfred Lord Tennyson. He is a famous English poet who lived in the, during the years 1800s. The first poem I'm going to read is about the brook. Just to give you a simple meaning, the brook is the water that's going through rivers, the mountains and valleys and finally it connects to the river. So the poet narrates how the brook flowing through the color, the texture, the smell, the sound in this poem. The way it is written is as if the brook is telling us what it's doing to us. But at a subtle level, there's a meaning which talks about mortality. The brook. I come from horns of coot and hern. I make a sudden sand and sparkle out among the fern to bite it down a valley. By thirty hills I hurry down or slip between the ridges. By twenty thorps, a little town and half a hundred bridges. Till last by Philip's farm I flow to join the brimming river. For men may come and men may go, but I go on forever. I chatter over stony ways in little shafts and trebles. I bubble into any bays. I babble on the pebbles. With many a curve, my banks I fret by many a field and fallow, and many a fairy foreland set with willow, weed, and mallow. I chatter, chatter as I flow to join the brimming river. For men may come and men may go, but I go on forever. I wind the boat and in and out with here a blossom sighing, and here and there a lusty trout, and here and there a grain, and here and there a foamy flake upon me as I travel, with many a silvery water break above the golden gravel and draw them all along and forth to join the brimming river. For men may come and men may go, but I go on forever. I steal by lawns and grassy plots. I slide by hazel covers. I move the sweet forget-me-nots that grow for happy lovers. I slip, I slide, I gloom, I glance among my skimming swallows. I make the netted sunbeam dance against my sandy shallows. I murmur under moon and stars in brambly wildernesses. I linger by my shingly bars. I loiter on my tresses. And out again I curve and flow to join the brimming river. For men may come and men may go, but I go on forever. Now the next poem. I am going to read a book. It's called All Things Will Die. Again, the poet here narrates the beauty of a lot of natural items available, but suddenly he gives a shock by saying that everything will die. All things will die. Clearly, the blue river chimes in its flowing under my eye. Warmly and broadly the south winds are blowing over the sky. One after another the white clouds are fleeting. Every heart this May morning enjoins his beating, full merry. Yet all things must die. The stream will cease to flow, the wind will cease to blow, the cloud will cease to fleet. The heart will cease to beat, for all things must die. All things must die. Spring will come never more. Oh, vanity, death breaks at the door. See, our friends are all forsaken. The wine and merrymaking, we are all called, we must go. Lay low, very low, in 
the dark we must lie. The merry geese are still. The voice of the bird shall no more be heard. Not the wind on the hill. Oh, misery. Ha! Death is calling. While I speak to you, the jar is falling. The ripped cheek failing. The strong limbs failing. Eyes with warm blood mixing. The eyeballs fixing. Nine times blows the buzzing bell. Ya yeah, merry souls, farewell. The old earth had a birth of all men no long ago. And the old earth must die. So let the warm winds rage and the blue wave beat the shore. For evening and morning you will never see. Through eternity all things were born. Ya will come never more, for all things must die. Now the third poem I am going to read is pretty interesting. It's called Nothing Will Die. The poet writes another poem which totally contradicts to what he said. And he again goes word by word and Christians, but yet at a certain level the meanings are same. Nothing will die. When will the stream be aware of flowing under my eye? When will the wind be aware of blowing over the sky? When will the clouds be aware of fleeting? When will the heart be aware of beating and nature die? Never! Oh, never! Nothing will die. The stream flows, the wind blows. The cloud flees, the heart beats. Nothing will die. Nothing will die. All things will change through eternity. This is world's winter. Autumn and summer are gone long ago. Earth is dry to the center, but spring, a newcomer. A spring, rich and strange, shall make the winds blow round and round, through and through, here and there, till the air and the ground shall be filled with life anew. The world was never made, it will change, but it will not fade. So let the wind range for evening and morning, ever will be through eternity, nothing was born, nothing will die, all things will change. Both.